So hello, it's Sheila back again with the uh, third part of this tutorial. This is for the sleeve and I've already knitted the rib. I cast on 31 stitches and I've knitted 10 rows in one by one twisted rib. And I've done the first two rows with the four millimetre um, needles. You know, the rib was casted on with, was knit with 3.25 millimetre. And now I'm on to the third row, which is the first decreasing row. So I'm going to knit one stitch, knit it in the front of the stitch, and then into the back. And that's the first decrease. I'm going to knit across that row to the last three stitches. And I'll pause until I get to the end there. And I'm now at the last three stitches and I'm going to increase in the front and the back of that stitch. And that's made another increase there. And then knit the last two stitches. And then I'm going to purl across this row. This is the fourth row that I'm purling. And I'll pause till I get to the end. And I'm at the end of the row now, the last three stitches. Now I'm on to the first row of the, the rosebud. And I'm going to knit four, two, three, four stitches and then I'm going to knit two stitches together bring the yarn forward knit one bring the yarn forward again and then slip one stitch knit one stitch pass the slip stitch over keeps going blurry this phone It. And then knit five. And then again you knit two together. Yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. Knit five, knit two together, yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. I've got a hair there. And knit the last four stitches. And I'm going to have to join on the ball here. I had to cut cut it because there was a knot in the um the middle and I don't want a knot in the middle of the knitting. So the next row is going to be a purl row. What's that hair there that I saw when I was knitting? <laughs> it's caught in the knitting to pull it out. That's it. One of my hairs. I want to join I always knit the first two the first stitch with the two bits of yarn 
keeps them more secure. And then let the, the tail end drop. And knit across that row. My phone's gone blurry again. And I'll pause till I get to the end. We're at the last three stitches. And now we're on to the the second part of the, the rosewood where you put the little hole over the top. And but to work that one out, that's the centre stitch there. So you have to knit one, two, three, four, five, six stitches up to that centre stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five six and that as you can see that's the center stitch between the two little holes now you bring your yarn forward and knit two stitches together and then you knit eight stitches up to the next rosebud And you do the same again, bring your yarn forward and you can see there's your centre stitch again between the two little holes. And you knit those two together. And knit another eight stitches. And again, there's your centre stitch between the two holes. Bring your yarn forward. Oops, I've told you going to. Go two. <laughs> yarn forward and knit those two stitches together, the next two stitches. And then you knit across one, two, three, four, five stitches. You remember your last stitch is where we joined the yarn on, so there's two there, but two, and then you pull those stitches tight. And that helps to secure your, your yarn until you come to fasten those ends up. And then you have to knit one pearl row across. And then you knit another four rows in between each set of rosebuds. So I will meet you when I finish. And before I start those four rows, that was where I did the increase. And I'm doing it every sixth row. So that was where the increase was. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So the first of the four rows is an increasing row. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's knit one. Knit through the front and the back to increase the stitch. And there I made another increase there. And now I'll knit those four rows and come back to you when I've finished those rows. Now I've knitted the, um, the four rows in between and you can see where the increase stitch was. So that's three rows. So there's another two rows to do and then will be the sixth row again. So 
I'll show you where I'm going to put the next the rosebud. I have a pattern here. It's um, I've been writing this down as I'm doing it because this is all from my head. I'm not using a pattern. I just work things out for myself. And I've shown you for the sleeves. I cast on the 31 stitches and rib one by one for 10 rows, which I've shown you on there. That's the, the bit of rib there. And then I increased on the third, and you do that on every following six row until you have 43 stitches. And then I showed you the, the row five was knit four, knit two together, yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, then knit five, and repeat from the stars to the end, which was knit four. And then next in every alternate row is pearl. But you know you knit four rows in between each lot of rosebuds anyway. And then the row seven, which I've just done, was knit six. Yarn forward, knit two together, knit eight, repeat from this the stars here to there. And it was knit six at the end. Then purl one row. And then I've knit stocking stitch for four rows. And now I'm going to do row 13. And row 15, which I'll show you how to do these ones, which is knit, knit 10, knit 2 together, yarn forward, knit 1, yarn forward, slip 1, knit 1, pass slip stitch over, knit 5, and repeat from there to there, to the last 10 stitches, and then purl your next row. And then the row 15 will be knit 1, increase the next stitch, knit 10, yarn forward, knit 2 together, and so on across. We'll come to that when I get to it. So with this one, you, then again, when you're looking for the centre stitch to do the, you have the two rosebuds, and you have one, two, three, four, five stitches in between. So you go, you look for the third stitch, which is one, two, three. You know, my needle, it's easier. One two, three. So this will be where the, the centre stitch is. And to find out whether you can do any before that, that's the centre stitch. So you would have two stitches knitted together there. Then you would have two, four, five in between. And that leaves five stitches if you were doing the, the rosebud there. But because you would have to start with knit two, you miss that one out. So we're going to knit ten stitches up to the the first rosebud. Eight, nine, ten. And we're going to knit two together. Yarn forward, knit one. That one there, as you can see, is that centre stitch between the two rosebuds. And then yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass that slip stitch over, knit five. Two, three, four. Five, knit two together, yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass that slip stitch over, and knit your last ten stitches. So now I have to knit a pearl row and then I will meet you after I've knit that row. And now I'm on to the, um, the next row. 
which is row 15. And this is an increasing row because we've had one, two, three, four, five. We're increasing on every sixth row. So I'm going to knit one, knit in the front and back of the next stitch. And then I'm going to knit 10 up to the rosebud. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10 stitches. And they were onto the center stitch of the, um, the rosebud. So yarn forward, knit two together. Then knit eight up to the next one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring the yarn forward, knit two together. And we're going to knit to the last three stitches to do the increase. Blurry again there. To knit into the front and the back of the third stitch from the end. And knit two. And that's a 15th row. And the row 16 is pearl. Which I'll meet you at the end of that. So that is the 16 rows of pattern. You have to knit another four rows and then do the the rosebuds again. And you to find the, the next rosebud, you'll go down to this one and find the center stitch, work the center stitch up to where it is on the needle, which would be there. And those two stitches will be knit, knitted together. So whatever stitches is left from there to the end is what you knit before you come to that stitch, those two stitches there. And you keep on increasing like that until you have 43 stitches on the needle, keeping the pattern correct until it measures eight and a half inches. And I will come back to you when I get that far on this. Now we're up to the armholes and I'm going to cast off three stitches. Begin of the next two rows. That's one. Two. So we're on to the four knit rows so you don't have to look for the um for the pattern to follow. So we just need to knit all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end of that row. And I'm on to the casting off on the pearl row. Two. One, two, three, and then I'm going to pull across that row, and I'll meet you at the end. So that's the three stitches cast off at each side, and now we're going to in to decrease. For the raglan shaping, and all it is is knit one, slip one, knit one, pass that slip stitch over, knit across to the end to the last three stitches, and 
And we're at the last three stitches. We're going to knit two together. Knit one. And that's how the decreasing goes. You do that on every other row or every alternate row and keeping your, your rosebud lace in place at the same time. So each time you do the um, the rosebud, it'll come a little bit further in. You probably end up missing, having to miss a couple. But you keep on doing that until you've got seven stitches left. Just here on the pattern where you cast off three stitches, begin of the next two rows, which I've done, and decrease one stitch each end of the next right side row and every alternate row till you have seven stitches and then place these stitches on a holder. And I will come back to you when I get that far. The last little bit of my video, I've finished the sleeve. And now I just have to put these stitches onto a safety pin, which I'm going to do here. The last seven stitches. And that's the, the sleeve finished. I've just got to finish the other pieces. And then the next tutorial will be putting the neck on and the bands on. And that's just a little bit. Another look at the what I did for the armholes. Cast off three stitches, begin with two rows. Decrease one stitch at each end of the next right side row and every alternate row until you have seven stitches. Place these stitches on a holder, what I've done. And all you have to do is work out where you have to put the um, the rose. But you see, I didn't get a full one there, but I managed to get a little bit in and a little bit there and a full one in at the very last. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And that's my little bit of this tutorial. Until the next time. So bye for now.